Hey, you guys, this is your coach, Dr. Andrea Dickerson here with IonADaycare.com, where we connect childcare business owners with proven management solutions. And for today's proven management solution, let's talk about your office space and how you, the right office space and the right material in your office can cause you to increase. So if you're interested in finding out more about what I suggest you do, in order to have the right business office systems in place. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, here's some behind the scenes. I am grabbing our handy dandy Jumpstart School of Systems, and we're going into the blueprint section of the School of Systems, and we're gonna be going through some business must have. So I've already downloaded my workbook, printed my workbook, and so now I'm able to look at some of the business office must-haves that you need when owning and operating a successful business. By having these particular office equipment and tools in place, it is going to lead you to be able to move your business forward and have your team know how to use these things. So stay tuned to today's training as we talk about your business office must-haves. All right. One of the biggest challenges that many of you as childcare business owners face is that you haven't systemized your office, your office equipment, nor your office standards. So let me talk to you a little bit about what does that mean to systemize? The only way I was able to create a learning module for you to learn what you need in your office is because I took stock of the items that were in my office that helped me to be proficient. And so I was able to create a layout for all of my locations so that all of my locations will know what items are mandatory for my office. So that became my office layout. Every office we opened, we knew exactly what we needed to purchase and or what we needed to have in the office because that was our standard. Number two, Without having the right office material and office equipment, you're hindering your program from being able to produce the desired results that you're looking for. Why is it that we ask for directors to work more in the back with the staff, but they don't have a director's checklist? They don't have the tools necessary to go to the back of the building and check off what the teachers are doing to be able to help them. That's because you don't have the right office layout or systems in place. You wanna have those things in place so that all of your expectations can be met. Another area that many of you as childcare owners are missing is that you don't give instruction, clarity and wisdom on how to use what you do have. Let me give you a prime example. Here at the School of Systems, we have always used this, whether I was teaching it to owners or I utilized it in my own program. But this is my office equipment system, okay? So this is how we do our color code, and this is how they know what we use in our office for what, all right? So let me take you through this. Here you will see where I am describing the type of forms we use. So all of that printing paper that they see in my office, here in the black writing, I'm describing to them what we use this printer paper for and what color goes with what form that we offer for printing in our business. So for instance, when we are printing receipts for parents who make deposits or pay their registration fee, we have to give them a receipt. So I know that if I continue to take receipts through a handwritten process that that doesn't lend to accountability. So when I opened up multiple sites where I was not controlling the registration, money handling, I had to have a system in place. So we would use our pink forms, put it in, or our pink paper, put it in the printer, and then they would print the person's receipt. And the way we used our receipt, receipt process was some things were digital, and some things were printed and we needed it to be printed so that it could be available for our physical closeout. So if you look here, you will know that this was the color that we use for customer receipts. Now we use files just like all other programs use files. However, I am describing 
what color file we use for what department. So this is for children, this is for staff, and also the name of it, where to order it from, so that they can easily access our system. And so if you can see here, I have everything that we use in our office. I have it plainly divided into images, what the product is for and the use of it in our organization. So every location, sorry guys, <laughs> every location that we go to, this information is readily available because this is our system that we use because we know this is what works in our organization. So in module six of the Jumpstart School of Systems, we teach you about the office must haves, okay? So in order for you to organize your office, you gotta start with the foundation by knowing what items go in your office and by knowing what the use of those items are and then giving your team a layout to keep your expectations met. Let's talk about this because I feel like if I go a little deeper, you're gonna understand. So we identify that every office must have a desk calendar. The purpose of the desk calendar is because we expect for our admin and directors to have a quarter or 10 week review. So that means that when there's something coming up for that next 30 days, we have our team to write on their calendar what's coming up in the next 30 days. Now, the quarter review comes from my home office, my corporate office. But when I turn it over to them, they're responsible to go <laughs> write it on their desk because what's written remains a part of their thought process. All right, and then we have where well, we need our three ring binders. So I have on my organization chart here, let me show you. I have on my organization chart that these are the items that we need in the office. Now, when it comes to this three ring binder process, you will see here, that I have what happens in the red for the red binders, what we store for the white binders, the orange binders, the yellow binders, the blue binders, the black binders, the green binders. And so if you can see, that's the name and then that's all the content that goes in those binders. So now when I hire people, they're not just looking at the binders and don't know what to do with them because everything that pertains to those binders is clearly written out in the system, okay? Every person that sets up a different office for my different locations, they all know that in my office require these binders, that is a system, okay? So from a franchise point of view, you wanna make sure that you have your business organization and office must have clearly defined so you can duplicate your process. And then once you define them, you have to break it down as to what these items um, names are and what, what items go into those um, pr products or materials and the use of them. So let me give you an example because I'm about to get ready to, to end. All right, right here, red binder. Red binder says, red binders are for full center operations, classroom binders, emergency binders, task and forms, play, playground binders, and employment systems. So that means whenever someone see a red binder, they should see that there's an employment system binder, a playground binder, a classroom binder. And when they see red, they know that it's pertaining to one of those items, okay? So instead of me hiring people to um guess i'm giving them the whole layout so my layout is this is what you can find in this binder so that if there's ever something that that comes up they know it deals with the classroom however they may not know where to find it in the binder so they'll pull the binder that says classroom look at the table of content and go through that binder and find that information this is how you have to set up your business office with the right layout to meet your expectation. So you gotta have what's clarity about what products and items and material and equipment you need in your office. Then you have to have clarity about how to use this material. In closing, you wanna make sure that you have what items you need in your office. And then you want to have clarity about how to use the items 
in your office by having it laid out. What goes into the binders, what we need on our desk, what we need in our drawers, what calendar system, what binder system, what type of desk, so that everything is streamlined in your organization and it will make it easy and clear for people to follow your business must have systems. Well, all right, let me know what you think. This is your coach, Dr. Andrea Dickerson here with iOnadaycare.com. And if you're interested in learning new systems, be sure to go to www.learnnewsystems.com. Get your free training and webinar where I'm going to teach you these business must have systems for your childcare program. All right, see you soon.